Well, the Ad event card at Club Monegal on Tuesday afternoon will be highlighted by the McGrath Foundation afternoon tea. Now, that's going to be a huge fundraiser and also making awareness for that particular organisation. It promises to be an outstanding afternoon as far as that's concerned, but the racing should also be very keenly contested. You know, put uh, some faith into David Thorne's couple of horses resuming from a spell. The first in race four, get up Betty. She's had a couple of starts. She has been costly, but David's always had opinion of this particular mare and the fact that she's trialled well on a couple of occasions would suggest she's ready to run a bold race first up from a spell. David also has Sporting Tristar going around race five, beautifully drawn in gate one and like it up Betty is resuming from a spell but the trial form would suggest that Sporting Tristar is ready to be very competitive in this particular event and with a good draw no doubt that will be the case. Over to race seven and I'm sticking with small tees. He's been very consistent without winning, although he's starting to run out of chances. But I think in this field he is definitely worth one more chance for Brian Portelli. They're going over to race eight and a newcomer to the Jack Trainer stable, a five-year-old mare from New Zealand by the name of La Rosa. Hasn't trialled, but we know Jack's expertise when it comes to Kiwi mares and think La Rosa is definitely worth a gamble as far as this race is concerned. It won't be an easy passage to the winning post, but she's got a very good record, 32 starts of five wins, 15 placings. So La Rosa going on the hunch that Jack will have a primed for a bold showing first up, which is always the case with his outstanding mares. So La Rosa, let's go with her in the final event. So a very strong A-to-end card here on Tuesday afternoon. Until next time around, good punting.